Hello and welcome to Amazing Trunks' channel, I'm TrunkX. This time, my buddy, AI, is here again to help me cause my English is not that good. I hope that you'll love my buddy as much as I love him. Let's get started. As usual, I like to start by sculpting the main character of the diorama. Guess what, it's going to be a giant frog. More precisely, it's a giant demon stone frog. I'm not sure if you've ever seen anything like him before, but I don't want to come across him in real life. I'm using steel wire and aluminum foil for the core, and wrap those with a thin layer of polymer clay. By doing this, it will help me shape and refine the creature's form better. The basic shape is now done. And I'll move on to the details of the frog. On his back, I want to create some large bumps that will protrude above the water's surface so that the fishermen can sit on. In my imagination, the fishermen believe it's just a big rock by the pond, so they're comfortably sitting and fishing here. To illustrate the stone texture of the frog, I'll create rough textures combined with painting. A demon frog should have some menacing teeth, right?
I want the throat area of him to bulge out, and I'll install a small LED light inside to shine through the throat skin. This throat will have a clear epoxy resin layer inside to protect the light, and the outside will be shaping with clay. I hope this lighting effect makes the frog look more interesting. Cannot miss a long tongue for long range attacks, right? Don't you feel that the way I call him, a demon stone frog, is a bit long? Hmm, let me know what you think. Like other videos, I'll start painting with acrylic oil paints. They are affordable and easy to find at where I live. I'll add a dark base coat, followed by a top coat to depict the stone texture. Alright, now I'll use styrofoam to shape the rock walls by the pond. but I still need to add a layer of plaster to make it look more realistic. I think it looks pretty good. It's time to color the pond's edge. I'm using white glue to apply to the areas where I want to add grass. When this glue dries, it will become transparent, so it won't affect the grass layer. I'm also making a small wooden bridge from wooden sticks. This bridge will make it easier for the fishermen to get to the giant rock. They'll thank me for this, won't they?
adding some tall grass and clumps of grass will make the diorama even more lively. Behind, I'll carve a small slot to place a switch for the frog's throat light. Finally, some pitiful fishermen and a bit of skulls from the frog's previous victims. Scary, isn't it? Can you feel the Halloween atmosphere yet? I'm using epoxy resin to create the water in the pond. Unfortunately, the type of epoxy resin I need still hasn't delivered to my home yet. The only available one is the low viscosity type, which means I can only pour it one layer at a time. When it dries, it leaves fine lines between the layers, and it's taking me more time. Guys, use epoxy resin that can be poured all at once if you can. Lastly, the finishing touches. I'll sand it flat, then polish the resin part to make the water transparent and mesmerizing. I want to apply a clear coating. Therefore, the grass and plants must be covered to avoid getting paint on them. When the paint is dry, the pond surface looks a bit empty, so I'll add a few aquatic plants and lily pads. And it's done.
Thank you.